Hello again. It's rock bottom vlogs. <sighs> Boy, today was an anxiety day. My ire was up. I guess not ire, just ang anxiety. Is there another thing you call it? I don't know. But it's it's one of those days where you have important stuff to do. But at the same time, it's also kind of terrifying. So you just, there's something inside you that's screaming and tumbling and it makes the rest of you freeze up. You feel like you can't do anything. I spent a lot of time at work today sitting at my desk doing absolutely nothing while I had things to do. And it made me feel terrible, right? Because you're there to work, you're there to do your job. And to my credit, I did get all of the things done that I needed to do today. But it was damn hard to get there. It's weird, whenever these things happen, there's always that part of you that's like, no, it's not anxiety or any illness or anything, really. It's just like, you don't, you are lazy. Your natural state is to want to be at rest and to want to sleep. And this is just you trying to go back to that. Some car, loud vehicles outside. And you are... You are not actually troubled and you have no good reason to feel this way. And there's always the other half of it where it's like, you feel afraid. Well, at least that's how I quantify it, is I feel afraid to do anything because it will go wrong. And I lock up because of that fear. And I hate myself for being afraid. I hate being a coward. I hate feeling afraid to fail, afraid to do something wrong. I hate being afraid of anything. It's the worst feeling in the world. I feel weak. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like the opposite of what I should be. I'm six foot four and over 250 pounds. I shouldn't be afraid of anything. Nature says I shouldn't be afraid of anything. So when I'm afraid of making a phone call or having a conversation or attempting a task, it's stupid. You shouldn't feel that way. Suck it up, buttercup. The usual, right? There's probably a lot of people that are like, hey, don't be so hard on yourself. We all get afraid sometimes. It doesn't matter. I know I say it a lot, but I didn't used to feel this way. I didn't used to be afraid of these kind of things. I think I've just been through too many catastrophes. I had my life teetering on the brink of total destruction for so long that I'm so afraid of any one thing going wrong that it destroys everything. Really, I haven't got a whole lot left to lose, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> lost everything else maybe that's a silly way to put it I remember there was a conversation at work a short while ago where people were upset because somebody had passed away 
a friend of theirs. And I said, well, I don't have to worry about feeling like that again. Everyone who matters to me is already dead or gone. <laughs> so, well, you know, I don't have to cross that bridge anymore. <laughs> For now, it's kind of dark, isn't it? I didn't mean for things to be so grim. Anyways, what was I getting at? The anxiety makes you afraid. And the fear makes you angry at yourself. I did move past the fear. And I got a lot of things done today. Things that I didn't think I'd be able to accomplish. And I didn't let the idea of the curse bring any of it down. I kept going. It was hard, but I did it. I could have done more today. I could have been more productive. I could have been a version of myself that is better than what I am right now. But I also prevented myself from being a worse version of myself than I could have been. So, is that a victory? I don't know. Everybody tells me I should go see a therapist. <laughs> but on the other side of that, where am I going to find time to go see, this, see a therapist? I mean, 9 to 5, during the week, no vehicle. There's not really a lot of easy ways to fit an appointment in for that. And of course, nobody does Saturdays, right? So... Anyway, tomorrow's a new day, and hopefully I can keep pushing through it. Different attitude. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Take care.